Hello and welcome to the Lake Mead and Hoover Dam update for June 2024. The water level at the Lake Mead Reservoir is currently 1,064 feet 7 inches above mean sea level. That's a decrease of 4.5 feet from our last update. The water level has been on a decline since the beginning of March, and in the last few weeks, that decline has been picking up speed. The current water level is 114 feet above minimum power pool and 155 feet below full pool. Hello and welcome to Time Bomb. In this episode, we'll start with a review of the latest Lake Mead water level statistics. Next up, we'll take a brief look at Lake Powell's surging water level. Why is Lake Powell doing so well while the water levels at Lake Mead continue to decline? Then we'll check the status of the other large reservoirs located along the Colorado River to see how the entire Colorado River system is performing. We conclude by discussing a large fire that destroyed a portion of the Las Vegas Boat Harbor Marina. There's a lot to discuss today, so let's get to it. Hit that like button. Tell me off in the comments section. This is Time Bomb. Let's get started. Remember back in 2022 when water levels at Lake Mead kept declining to new record lows? The decline was so significant that objects that have long been submerged under Lake Mead's waters began to resurface. We saw the remains of St. Thomas, an old frontier town, numerous sunken boats, and of course, the infamous Lake Mead monolith, also known as the vertical speedboat. Thanks to the record-breaking snowpack during the 2022-23 winter season, water levels rose, resubmerging the boat. However, Lake Mead's water levels have been declining for the past few months, erasing much, much of last year's gains. Now the Lake Mead monolith is visible once more. Currently, about one foot of the bow is peeking out of the water, but as water levels continue to drop, more of the boat will become exposed. According to the latest predictions, the vertical speedboat will remain visible for at least the next two years. Now let's check on Lake Mead's water level statistics. In the month of May, 598,000 acre feet of water was released from Lake Powell, the reservoir that is located just upstream from Lake Mead. As that water flowed down from the Glen Canyon Dam, it picked up another 24,000 acre feet from side inflows from sources like the Little Colorado River and the Virgin Rivers. But 43,000 acre feet was lost on that journey due to evaporation. That gives us a total of 579,000 acre feet of inflow that was added to the Lake Mead Reservoir during the month of May. Now let's take a look at outflows of water from Lake Mead. In the month of May, Hoover Dam released a total of 992,000 acre feet of water. So with total inflows of 579,000 acre feet and total outflows of 992,000 acre feet, the Lake Mead Reservoir lost 413,000 acre feet of water in the month of May. This is a chart of Lake Mead's water level for the 2024 water year that began on October 1st, 2023. Lake Mead began the water year at an elevation of 1,065 feet 10 inches. The water level declined slightly in October and reached a low of 1,064 feet 7 inches on November 17th. Then for the next three months, the water level increased by 12 feet and finally peaked on March 4th when the water level reached a three-year high of 1,076 feet 7 inches. Since then, the water elevation has been on the decline a decline that has picked up pace in the last two weeks. In fact, the current water level is a new low for the 2024 water year. The current elevation of 1,064 feet 7 inches is still 88 feet below the 1,153 foot average for this time of year. The highest water level at Lake Mead was recorded on July 24, 1983 at 1,225 feet. The record low water elevation was set on July 28, 2022, when the water level dropped to 1,040 feet 7 inches. Lake Mead's full pool capacity is 28.2 million acre feet. The average capacity for this date is 18,051,000 acre feet. The current capacity of Lake Mead Reservoir is 8,779,000 acre feet and the record low was set in July of 2022 when the capacity dropped to 7,018,000 acre feet. 
even with two winters of exceptional snowpack, the Lake Mead Reservoir remains at just 33.6% of its full pool capacity. That's shockingly low, and unfortunately, water levels will continue to decline for the next few months. Now let's head just upstream from Lake Mead to see how Lake Powell is doing. This is a chart of Lake Powell's water level for the 2024 water year. As you can see, Lake Powell's water level was on the decline all year. Then, in mid-April, water levels started to rise as the snow melt started to make its way into the reservoir. On May 20th, the rate of water level increase jumped from 1.5 inches a day to over 7 inches per day. This current surge in inflows is again due to the early melting of the snowpack. All of that inflow added 646,000 acre feet of water to Lake Powell in the month of May. The Bureau of Reclamation must have thought the snowpack would be much larger, because in last, last month's water level predictions report, they predicted that Lake Powell would gain 1,079,000 acre feet. <laughs> Boy, were they wrong. Okay, now that we understand the situation at Lake Mead and Powell, let's zoom out and take a look at the total system storage of the Colorado River. Now, when I talk about total system storage, I'm talking about the combined water storage capacity of all of the major reservoirs located along the Colorado River and its tributaries. This is a chart of the entire Colorado River storage system for the 2024 water year. The storage capacity had its ups and downs throughout the winter season, eventually reaching a low of 24.4 million acre feet on April 17th. Then the water level started to gradually increase, but on May 20th, inflows increased significantly. Since May 20th, the entire Colorado River system gained 1,038,000 acre feet. In fact, the Colorado River storage system is currently at its highest level for the 2024 water year. But unfortunately, this system is still holding about 1 million acre feet less water than at this same time last year. According to the National Park Service, more than 36 boats were damaged in a fire that broke out at the Las Vegas Boat Harbor Marina in the Lake Mead Recreation Area. The marina, located just around the corner from Hoover Dam, is one of the largest privately owned marinas in the world, with nearly 1,500 boat slips. National Park Service officials reported that the fire started on Sunday around 12.30 a.m. Emergency personnel responded to the fire, and it was contained within hours. The fire damaged 36 boats, 11 of which were completely destroyed, along with two docks. Despite the damage, the marina is open and ready for business. Hey, that's all I have for this episode. I'll be back with another video next week. In the meantime, please check out some of my other videos and consider subscribing. I really appreciate your support.